what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to get each of the brand new Rush 2 players and complete the whole agenda group for Galaxy Opal James Worthy here in NBA 2K24, my team, talking about the quickest and easiest ways to complete each agenda, breaking each one down and trying to figure out the quickest, easiest way to get this worthy card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado these rush two agendas in all honesty are one of the few bright spots of season five so far but this is two weeks in a row with great free content and this week's content honestly looks even a little bit easier maybe than last week's grind was for austin reeves so that is fire six agendas to complete you got to complete all six to get james worthy um each of the six agendas will reward you with one of the amethyst diamond or pink diamond players and yeah let's break it down so you got two weeks to complete these agendas which also means you do have one more week to complete the uh, rush one agendas for Austin Reeves these agendas expire next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time when the Rush 3 set will be coming out. That is when these Reeves agendas expire. So make sure if you haven't done these yet and you want to get this Reeves, make sure you get those done this week. I just want to make that clear. But now we'll talk about what y'all are actually here for, which is these worthy agendas, starting with the Amethyst agenda. So Amethyst Grady Dick, all you got to do to get him is win five triple threat offline games in a row using three Raptors players. That is very, very easy. Should not be hard at all. Uh, score 100 points in the paint with Nuggets players over clutch time online or offline games. This one will easily be easier for sure to do in offline than online but you could do it online as well if you'd like uh this will probably take i don't know four or five offline games it'll take some time but it's a little bit time consuming that's about all it is it won't be particularly hard uh, so both of these are pretty easy agendas they may take a little bit of time about five off triple thought offline games and about five clutch time offline games is probably about what you're gonna have to do to complete these two agendas but then you will have both the amethyst now the diamonds this is interesting. Make 103 pointers with Jazz players over multiple multiplayer games. Uh, we'll have to go look at what the Jazz player options are here in just a second. But that one might be a little bit more challenging and a little bit more time consuming. Just because 103 is a lot. Let's go look. I'm just going to go look real quickly in my collection. Let's go look at the Jazz players that I have. I just want to see um, who I have. So, like, just to look and see who your best options are going to be to use from the Jazz. For example, Gordon Hayward, probably a good option. Stockton, Thurl, those are decent. Uh, especially, like, Thurl is a good card, but he's not an incredible shooter. So, I would say Gordon Hayward would be a really good option to use if you have him. Stockton, I know he's small, but he's a good option as well. If you have the free uh, Pink Diamond Pete Maravich, I'm pretty sure that card is also a Jazz player uh yes this pistol pete maravich would be a good option as well if you have him uh, i think he's a level up reward i don't quite have him yet but i should have him pretty soon and he's a good option i think as well uh for that agenda so using some good jazz players i think you, that shouldn't be too hard as long as you use good shooters it may take a little bit of time but i don't think it'll be that hard especially if you match up against people in clutch online or triple dot online or whatever who are also trying to let do these agendas y'all can let each other hit threes and get through these games quicker and get through these agendas quicker uh 76 is fast rate points 100 fast break points 76 players over multiple games i'm not gonna lie this might be a little bit time consuming but again i don't think it'll be all that hard this will basically just be leaking out in transition with a 76ers player in triple that offline or clutch time offline will probably be the easiest way to do this and do it over and over again um again kind of boring kind of repetitive but overall not all that hard uh, and then win 15 multiplayer games using three or more Lakers players. This one's easy because here's the thing. There are a lot of great Lakers players. Like if you look at my lineup right now, Kobe, LeBron, uh, and Anthony Davis right there in my main lineup Austin Reeves I have four Lakers players right here like I could do this in clutch time online or unlimited or triple threat or whatever like my clutch online lineup right here Reeves Kobe LeBron that's three Lakers right there I can use this lineup win 15 clutch time online games and that will complete that agenda right there for Michael Cooper that's it for that one that's pretty easy I will say as well there are a ton of good Lakers cards that's one of the things about the Lakers is there's so many good players for their team so many good cards uh, Lakers cards in my team like you could obviously use golds at the end of your bench in salary cap or an unlimited to complete these but diamond braun kobe magic magic's free anthony davis austin reeves also free uh gail goodrich also free other older cards you could use these guys i think there are a lot of easy good lakers cards that are very attainable it'll make these agendas on that agenda specifically really pretty easy i think michael cooper's agenda a lot easier than i expected it to be he's the one i expected to have a steals agenda so the fact that he doesn't is pretty fire in my mind now this final one is score 47 points in a game with a Pacers player five times. This one should also be very easy. Everyone should have that pink diamond Tyrese Halliburton for free. So if you don't have any other Pacers players, that player, right, that Tyrese Halliburton should be fine. And honestly, the agenda in which I would complete that, the, the, the group that I would, 
the challenge, I'm sorry, that I would complete that, and it would just be the skills challenge, go to basketball fundamentals, and then do post scoring right here, and score 47 points with Tyrese Halliburton, hit six post moves, and the game will end. You can do that five times, and that will complete that agenda for Victor Oladipo as a whole. I will say, especially the fast break points and the Jazz threes might be kind of annoying, but as a whole, I think this entire grind is actually easier than um, last week's Austin Reeves grind is. I think you're probably realistically looking at a six hour grind maybe or so realistically to get this worthy card which isn't no time at all but it's certainly not a ridiculous amount either especially considering that you're getting other great cards like Oladipo, Cooper, and Fultz in this set as well so to me it looks pretty rewarding it looks like something that at least I would strongly consider doing in my team I just think I don't know it's I, there has been a lot to complain about this season a lot to complain about in my mind um but the rush agendas are kind of the one thing that i think has been really good this season i know there are people who are complaining about the reeves agendas last week about how they're too long in all honesty i want the agendas the reward players for this type of free content to be good if that means that the agendas have to be a little bit more challenging so that the rewards are actual top tier players, I am fine with that. I'd rather the agendas take a little longer, take six to eight hours and reward me with a top tier player than take two hours and reward me with a guy who's not even top five at his position. In my mind, I would rather it set up like this. And I like the fact that the other cards in the set are good as well. Like last week, Jaron Jackson Jr. is really good. This week, you got Pink Diamond Oladipo. Pink Diamond Michael Cooper. Pink Diamond, or sorry, Diamond Fultz. Not to mention the other guys aren't bad either. I mean, LaFonso Ellis, Grady Dick are part two of the most complete, well-routed amethysts in the entire game. Um, as a whole. I like this set of content, and honestly, I do not mind how long it looks like these agenda groups are actually going to take. I will not be doing this today, but I will 100% be getting this James Worthy on my account this week. Uh, and I'm excited to try that card out, man. I really do think he's got the potential to be one of the best small forwards in the game, not to mention some of the other cards in the set also being very good. Obviously, you can also buy packs if you want. Would I recommend buying packs? No, not really. You have a wow a less than two percent chance now at pulling an opal not only is it not a two percent chance it's now a less than two percent chance last week you had a two percent chance at an opal so now it's less than two so it's even worse odds of pulling a pink diamond or an opal i would not really recommend opening up these packs 20 percent odds at a diamond i guess is not completely horrific but in general you are going to likely lose a lot of mt and in all likelihood not pull anything you really want if you open packs i would recommend 100 staying away from them. the base packs you only have four percent chance at a 92 plus 13 percent odds at an amethyst as a whole i just don't i don't know i have a hard time seeing these packs as being particularly worth opening i think in all likelihood you're going to lose a lot of mt if you open packs now that's generally the truth of packs in general but just keeping that in mind and that is going to do it for this video so hopefully that does help you out hopefully y'all now have a good picture of how to complete these agendas and hopefully y'all are ready to complete these agendas this week because this worthy card is great and these cards in general are really really good so i'm excited to get this stuff done before we hop it or i'm sorry that's gonna do it for this video hope y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace